if you click this video, I'm assuming you have a deadline looming, so I don't want to waste a single second. Let's get straight to it. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to write an essay in one hour, and obviously, this is for emergencies only. I do not recommend writing an essay within an hour. But maybe you forgot your due date or all of your work was lost when mutant lemmings invaded your room and took your laptop hostage. I'm not here to judge. I'm here to help you write the best essay possible in 60 minutes. By the way, I'm Terrell and this is Absolutely Studying. I bootstrapped my way through university whilst juggling a full-time job and a family. It was not easy and now I want to pay it forward. I'm here to supply you with all of the resources and support you need to flourish in your academic career. Let me know in the comments what kind of essay you're writing and exactly how big these mutant lemmings were. We're going to be running through things quickly here, so pick up my essay checklist and follow along. It's in the description below and it's free. First, we need to decide on a thesis statement. This should be a statement of fact, so it should be firm and not leave any space for question. It should also be debatable and provable. Our second step is that we need to find three to five supporting arguments that will prove our thesis statement. List each of these on their own sheet of paper. We're gonna work on them separately. How many you're gonna need is really going to depend on how long your essay needs to be. Next, we need to find three facts that prove each of those supporting statements. This is when research comes in. You're gonna wanna list them in the order that makes the most sense, beneath each of the corresponding supporting arguments that each of them correspond with. Leave plenty of space between each of them because there's a lot of filling out we're gonna have to do here. If you are using source material, make sure to cite each and add references at the end of your essay. Plagiarism is a huge problem and you don't want to get caught and in trouble for it later. It can cost you everything. The next thing we're going to want to do is fill out our paragraphs with some buffer sentences. That was what all the space in between those facts was for. What you're looking at now is the outline of the body. We're going to fill out in between each of the facts, sentences that analyze and link them together. We want to explain how each of these facts correspond to the supporting argument. We also want to add sentences that analyze how it pertains to the thesis statement. The essay checklist goes into these in a bit more detail. If you're doing good on time at this point, it can give you a few more useful tips to make the essay a little bit more cohesive. Now we want to write your conclusion paragraph. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open with a sentence that ties everything together, usually something that analyzes what you've proven so far and how it pertains to the thesis statement. Next, we want to list those three supporting arguments and finish with a rephrase of the thesis statement. The conclusion paragraph is just a summary paragraph of the body as a whole, and that's what we're doing here. Once you're done with that, you want to write the introductory paragraph. The introductory paragraph is basically a mirror of the conclusion, so you want to start with a bold, prominent opening line, then restate your three supporting arguments, and finally, your thesis statement. Basically, what you have here is the rough draft for your essay now. At this point, you really want to put it in order, stick it all together, and start editing. Spend every last second you have editing it over and over. Regardless of how quickly you wrote your essay, you can really make it much better by repeating this step over and over. Edit it, read it out loud, change what you need, and edit it again. The checklist has some great quick editing tips. Even though the checklist is designed and intended for you to write an essay over several sittings, you can force it into one. If you found this useful, check out my video on how to break down big assignments into manageable tasks. It helps you to make a comprehensive plan to tackle anything from study time to essays and other projects, especially when you're juggling a ton of classes and responsibilities. This is a quick and messy essay. It is obviously not going to be your best work, but it's better than handing in nothing. This is how to write a scrappy essay in basically no time. Once you get your thesis statement, everything else should start falling into place. Again, grab those three 
supporting arguments, follow them up with three facts, and then fill out those paragraphs. Once you've got those three paragraphs done, throw together your conclusion. Again, an analytical sentence or two, restate your three supporting arguments and your thesis. Then your introduction paragraph, bold opening statement, three supporting arguments and your thesis, and then edit it over and over and over again. I cannot understate how important it is to both edit and cite and add your references. Before you leave the video and go get started, don't forget to pick up that free essay checklist in the description below. It's really going to help you track each one of these steps and get out an essay in time. That way you're not wasting a single second. You've got the template there and all you have to do is fill it out. Like this video and subscribe to this channel. I put out a new video every Thursday and it is always about homework help, study tips, organizational hacks that will help you through the study struggle. You can also visit our website for more useful resources. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really want to help you out with your academic journey. So if you do have any questions, pop them in the comments or check out my socials in the description below and feel free to ask me any questions. Until next time, I hope you have an amazing adventure.